Hey guys, it's me Ethan, back with another video, and today we are going to be talking about nationals and how that went. So, let's get into it.
Nationals was a very interesting meet. There were a lot of things that went really well, and there were some things that did not go to plan. So about two weeks or so before Nationals, I hurt my hamstring and the bone in my butt there on high bar doing an endo. I heard a pop and I felt a pop, and I knew something was injured, but I kept practicing and then ended up competing Nationals, which hurt a lot and I was in a lot of pain for most of it but I fought through it. I know now it's quite a bit after nationals, what is wrong with it, and it was a, a stress fracture to the bone in my butt and some issues with the hamstring. So it's gonna take a little while to heal, but I still competed nationals and had a pretty decent meet, or pretty decent two meets, two days of competition, but I really couldn't do floor and vault very well. Uh, if you saw the vault video, I was pretty much limping down the vault runway and then it wasn't great, for both days. Day two hurt a lot more than day one after competing on it before. Same thing with floor. I had to do easier floor and vault. Uh, floor didn't hurt as much as vault did because I didn't have to sprint, but it still hurt a lot. And so just having those two events where I took out like a point and a half uh, to two points of difficulty made it a lot harder to compete with the guy, top guys at nationals because all of them had all their difficulty in. It's K, it happens, and then I'll just talk about my events a little bit. For floor, again, it hurt quite a bit, but I got through some basic sets and had some decent decent scores throughout. Then Palma Horse, day one, I hit my routine, but it was quite sloppy, so I got a lot of deduction on that. And then day two, I scored higher, but I lost almost a point on difficulty on accident, I was doing my full care or my sewn, and then I ended up stepping down to the leather and circling back up, making it only an A instead of an E. And then on my dismount, I only did two Russians instead of three, but they only gave me B credit for it instead of C, because I said I, did, uh, I didn't do two full Russians, which made it so that I lost three tenths there and two tenths on start bonus. So I lost like nine tenths or, or eight or nine tenths on my start score day two, but I still scored like four tenths higher than day one because it was a much cleaner routine. And then rings, both days were very good. I had some of my best, probably my two best rings routines of the year. Then vault again, I was limping down the vault runway and I just did a full. And so that hurt my st scores a lot because a lot of people were doing double fulls or one and a half or stuff. So ha not having the difficulties hurt me a lot. But I got through it. I didn't didn't hurt it. All right, it hurt, but I got through it. And then P bars. The first day I had a decent P bars. It was just a bit shaky everywhere. And then the second day I had a really good P bars. It was a lot cleaner. I stuck my dismount. And then high bar day one I hit, but it wasn't too great. It was just very shaky. I was the first one up on high bar the first event for day one, so I was a bit shaky. And then day two, I actually fell on my Tkachev. It was my only fall of the meet. It was our last event, and I fell on my Tkachev, which was annoying, and I really made me mad because I was so close to hitting 12 for 12, but I still scored higher than day one because the rest of my routine was much better. And then day two, I stuck all my dismounts except floor, my easiest dismount. I even stuck vault day two. Granted, it was just a full, but... I had lots of sticks day two, so that was good. Overall, I'm happy with my nationals, and I was able to, I got like 12th, I think, or it was tied for 12th, and I was able to make US championships. Ethan Cox, these 18, 16 year olds will be headed to San Jose in August. Which I was really happy about, and that was my goal going into nationals. I had to compete at nationals and do well enough to make USAs so that I could heal up and rest my butt for the US Championships. But at this point, it does not look like I will be competing USAs. I will not be doing stuff, leg events, so floor and vault, or dismounts or anything for about three months after nationals. So at this point, about two months, maybe a little bit less if PT and stuff goes well but USA's is in a little over two months, so I don't think at this point I will be ready for it. 
even though I competed at nationals with an injury, I don't think it will matter because I will not be ready to compete USAs, and I don't want to hurt it more to where I'm out next season. So that part really sucks for me because I decided to fight through it, which at this point just doesn't matter. So everything I did up until nationals just was for nothing is what it feels like because I don't get to compete USAs anymore even though I qualified for it. At this point of recording, it's a few weeks after nationals. We tried to wait to see results back on my butt to know what was wrong with it. I'm still not doing any events yet in the risk of falling because uh, there was a risk of surgery. So I haven't done any gymnastics really up until this point. Hopefully in a few weeks, I will start doing other events that don't involve my legs and no dismounts or anything. And I won't be able to compete USAs without doing everything with a chance of qualifying for national team one more year. So there's not much for me to do on for USAs. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it and rest up and prepare for the coming season. But with that said, nationals is over and we have for me until November when our first competition, it's more of a practice competition is, and I'll have to rest up and hopefully in around September, late August, I will start using my legs again for like running and stuff and I can be ready to compete a couple months after that. So that's where we're at right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey of this season. I know I, I enjoyed it a lot. It was my first year level 10. I had a great time hanging out with all my teammates and competing with them and competing with other people from other gyms that are super cool, great friends with that. Although the season does not, is not going to end the way I had planned it to, it was a lot of fun, and injuries like this happen, so I just have to keep going and move on to next year where I'll have to do even better, and I'll have to make sure that I don't get injured and stay healthy. So... With that said, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and share with others so that we can help grow men's gymnastics because of how great of a sport it is. And remember, if you're new here, stick the dismount on that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time.